welcome back. So uh, this is a bit going to be a bit of an unusual video. Somebody asked me um, because they've been following me on Twitter and they sent me a direct message. They noticed that I've been having a good streak of wins with sealed events, and they sort of asked me the general question of what is my little secret. So I figured I would actually um, do a little video, and luckily my local game store, Lost Ark, had a spare pack of the pre-release pack going, so I was like, well, I might as well do it with that, instead of buying six pieces, I'll get this bad boy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, uh, we're doing this sort of a bit like a box opening, but it's also going to be mainly like, if I was going to the GP, which I'm planning to go to the one in London this year, of, I've got six boosters and this is my seal pool, what would I do? So. You know, it's sort of a bit of an interesting video for you all to see. And so let's see, we got a nice white die. Obviously you wouldn't get one of these at, the pre at a seal event. Oh, now why didn't I get you as my pre-release so promo? That is lovely. Right, sweet. Very happy with that. Yeah, thing and divider. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> right. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to sort of speed through and show you what I do. So, and then I'll probably end up doing a bit of commentary on top, explaining. It's probably the simplest way to go because the unpacking bit is the most boring bit. So what I'll do is I'll speed through that and so you can see. Okay guys, talk to you in a second. So what I like to do is, because you're obviously on a time limit with time building in a single event, is you should uh, get your cards and separate them by colour. So you'll have seven piles ideally because you'll have obviously you'll have your five main colors you'll have your colorless cards and then you'll have your gold board your gold bordered cards which are generally rares in most cases obviously um then obviously for your an eighth pile you want to keep separate really is your rares now as you can see what i'm doing is i'm setting up my creatures along the top in colour order and my spells are on the bottom in colour. This way you can keep track of how many creatures and how many spells you're getting per colour. Because the ideal thing is you need more creatures to spells to win the limited game because creatures will get through for damage, whether they're small, big or even medium. Spells will help you win combats and do other things etc but you've got to assess these as you go. So as you can see this is all we're doing, and so yeah, I'll leave you with this lovely, delightful music. Bye, guys. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've opened all our packs now. Now the way I obviously, as I've discussed, creatures along top, spells along the bottom, at colourless to the side, keep your rares separate so you can sort of see how many things you have. Um, if you can try and put them in sort of spells and... Yeah, they're all spells. Right, okay, so I have one rare creature, right. Um, so, as I've said, the way I like to look at it is... Creatures win games, so I need creatures on the board. So let's see, what do we have? The obvious winner in terms of the amount of creatures we've got is blue. You know. Now let's say if it's blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine creatures. Now I like to run at least 16 to 18 creatures in a game. So that's half my creatures right there. So what other colour has the most? I believe it looks like red. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, so so far, blue, red are big contenders. 
Yeah, I don't think black has as many. This is the issue is where you get sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so you're a close second, but white does not have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so white and green are out because they've really not got enough there for them. So what you like to do is obviously keep them all segregated as well. You're very useful. Be useful if you decide to change something. All right, what colour creatures do we have? Wildfell Scarecrow can be useful, especially for triggering any delirium effects. So we got two creatures and two equipment and one explosive artifact. So we're going to remove black for the moment. We'll keep it to the side because it may be used depending on what we got. So the next thing I like to do is see how many of rares do we have. Obviously we've got a red and a blue. So let's just put these to the side again. Black over there and the two three of the rares put there. So what I like to do now is lay them out in sort of the mana curve so you can sort of see what you've got and then it's very useful sort of for dropping out. So uh, let me quickly speed through and do that and then we can have a look. <laughs> Okay, so next thing you like to do is you need to sort of sort out this curve. So firstly you've got to sort of look at what creatures do you have, what are useful, what aren't useful, do you have any special effects that you need to trigger. So from quick look through we do not have any delirium. I can see Halpak, Halpak can't yet, so you got spells. That's the fast and epitaph call. Right, so we have no delirium. So personally, uh, I'm happy cutting the epitaph golem and the wildfield scarecrow because we just don't need them. They're good cards, don't get me wrong, but they're just sort of they're not needed currently. So this has left us with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen creatures. So eighteen creatures leaves you with six spells. Now, with this, um, the our bomb is the Silver Silver Lind Snapper. Now we can't attack unless we cast a non-creature spell. Now that's interesting. So it's a good mechanic to work around. So basically, effectively, it's no, a prowess, but with no abilities. But in this, we've also got two Nibblers of Dusk, which require which have prowess. We have the Sangry Mage, which needs um a Chaz Prowess as well. The Pyre Hound will get bigger every time we cast a spell, a non creature spell. The Aberrant Researcher needs more uh sorceries and spell instances if they go into the graveyard, job done, because of from the upkeep. So I think we can do a few cuts here. Personally, I'm happy really mm, let's see. The Niblis, the Illuminator, you know, it's a 1 3. Hmm, is it good enough to keep? Is it better than the Ember Eye Wolf? It's an ev it's got evasion, that's got haste, that can pump. Hmm, let's see. Depends how much investigate we've got going on, I suppose. The Howl Pack Killer. He just is a vanilla 4-4. Four four. Have we got anything they all get pump him up? Yes, we've got Uncaged Fury. But then we've got, got two Gastaf Artness, which are a bit more 
big hitters. So yeah, so I'm happy cutting him for the moment. Um, two hard pack wolves, three three for threes in the card unless there's another wolf or werewolf. Niblis is good. The zombie horror, the stitched mangler. Enters, enters the battlefield tap. When it enters the battlefield tap, attack a creature and opponent controls. This does not untap during its untap step. So yeah, you can get in for a bit of damage on that, which is not, not, not too bad. So yeah, you can stay, buddy. Um, Arabian Researcher, Spirit. I think we can get rid of the Lamplighter Shell off. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy cutting him. So now we're down to 16. So now we can run 8 spells. So, hmm. Startled Awake can stay in, because that's a good nil card. We can keep that in. Devil's Prayer Ground is a very another good spell, especially as it puts more bodies onto the thing. So I'm happy keeping them two in. So let's. Malevolent Whispers, no, you're really more of a sideboard card. Bone to Ash, very good removal. Dissension in the ranks, not really relevant. So I'll keep the reduced to ashes in. Gone missing, mm, very interesting. Um, you can stay there for the moment. Let's have a look. So we've got three counter spells with this. So we've got Deny Existence which is Creatures and then we've got two Broken Concentrations. Geist Blast, which can copy spells. So theoretically we could copy, we had the mana available, we could copy the Devil's Playground or copy Uncaged Fury. So Geist Blast can go in. So, so far, we're at 7, so I won't be, if I kept all those ones so far, I'd only be allowed one more. So, let's see. So, let's remove the counters. Let's remove the counter spells. Hurt me. Hurt me as a blue player. But, yeah. Vessel of Volatility. Good ramp. Gets us more mana, if we want. Avacyn's Judgment. If we can discard it. Do we have a discard outlet? That's a good question. Hmm. Very good question, isn't it? Hmm. I don't think we have a discard outlet. That's the problem. But it's another instance of a sorcery. Let's see. Yeah. We need instance of sorceries in order for that to flip. So I would say. Yeah, having those would be best. So yeah, so my the little secret formula I do is creatures when you sealed events. The more creatures you've got, the better. I mean, obviously, you know, 24 creatures isn't going to win you a game. You need some form of removal, combat tricks, evasion techniques. You need something to get through to do damage. So as you can see, what I've done is we've got a nice curve. Swings out, you know. We got we got a bomb, make them work. You know we got a few things on there. The nib, the, you know the nibblesses, the sanguine maze. They got prowess. The pyre hound will get bigger every time we cast a spell. Again, very good, especially with um, geist blast. The geist blast can cause quite a bit of damage, sort of thing. Especially if you can do two uncaged furies or even two styled awakes. I mean that's very big spells. I mean milling someone in sealed for 26 cards especially if you could do I mean what you'd need five no hang on okay you'd need four five six seven you need seven mana so you're talking at best turn seven by turn seven they are at least a decent portion into their library so yeah that could be a game winner right there so so, as you can see, this is all we got so far. That's what I would run. If I was going to run this deck, I would run this. You know, I could... You could make an argument for putting counter spells in, dual shots, deny existence. You know, there are a few other things. But that's the benefit of having a sideboard. So, this is my simple trick. Is, in a sort of sealed event, I do the same with drafting. When I draft, uh, between the rounds, I quickly organise my creatures into... I order organise into the colour that I'm drafting. I look at how many creatures I got, and I aim again to have 
sort of 16 to 18 creatures generally with sort of bombs and stuff you know so you keep track of what you get but yeah but that's about it and this is my little, little technique so I hope you enjoy this video it's a bit of a different one and uh, yeah we uh, hopefully will start seeing people and doing these sort of events and uh, yeah I'm about to say hopefully I've got some deck decks coming out so we've got a standard deck um, I've put together that hopefully will look good and uh, yeah I hope everyone will uh, like it and well I can't wait to try it out myself so that's going to be rather fun so anyway guys thanks for joining and remember to like and subscribe to the channel and come back and uh, yeah give away very soon very soon we're nearly at the uh, subscriber count so I look forward to uh, giving some stuff away bye guys